Now this is permutation and combination lesson 6.2. In this, I will continue with discussion on distribution based questions, some basics with some examples. First, I will discuss the question based on the concept I discussed in the previous lesson. Let's say x plus y plus z is equal to 12, where all are positive integers. All are positive integers pi, x, y, and z. All are positive integers. But condition is given that x is greater than or equal to 1, y is greater than or equal to 2, and z is greater than or equal to 3. This is the condition given to us. All three are positive integers. Now we can understand this question in a bit different way. Can I say 12 means I have 12 root 12 1 rupee coin each. I have 12 coins of 1 rupee each and I want to distribute these 12 coins among 3 students x, y and z. So this will become distribution of identical to different. I have 12, I am just writing here, 12 coins of rupee 1 each and I want to distribute these 12 coins to 3 students such that student X get at least 1 coin, student Y get at least 2 coins and student Z get at least 3 coins. So what I will do, I will first give them 1, 2 or 3 coins before applying my partition method because in partition method the student number X, Y or Z may get 0 coins. So first of all, I will give them, give them one coin. So one coin I will give to X, two coins I will give to Y and three coins I will give to Z. Now remaining coins I will distribute by partition method. So what I will left with X plus Y plus Z equals to six. I have already given my three coins 3 1 rupee coins to z, 2 rupee 1 rupee coin to y and 1 1 rupee coin to x. Now I will apply the partition method. I have 6 coins 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 coins and I have 3 students. So I will apply 2 partitions, 2 partitions. These 2 partitions will divide 6 coins into 3 parts so that each part some of the part can be 0. Now can I say that 1, 1, 1, 1, 4 times then 2 times 6 times 2 partition. The arrangement of these 6, these 8 elements, the arrangement of these 8 elements will give me the distributions required so that x plus y plus z is equal to 6. For example, p 1, 1, 1, 4 times then p then 1, 2 times. It means that x, y and z. x is equals to 0 because left to partition is 0. Then this is 4. Then right of partition this is 2. Because there are 4 coins between partition this is 4. That is the value of y. This 2, 1. This is the value of z. And with here it is 0. This is the value of x. You can have another part, other, other arrangement. 2p and then 6 times 1. It means that x is 0, y is 0, z is 6. So in partition method, we have 0. That's why I already gave x, y, z, 1, 2 and 3. Now even if it's 0, 0 and 6, even if it's 0, 0 and 6, the actual distribution is 1, 2 and 9. The actual distribution is 1, this is 2 and this is 9. So that total becomes 12. So in how many ways I can do that? This is total arrangement of all these 8 elements. How many arrangements are there? Can I say 8 factorial? by 6 factorial into 2 factorial. This is the arrangement of total possible arrangement of 6 times 1 and 2 times p or you can say that 8 c 2 this is 8 into 7 by 2 this is 28. So 28 ways we can have x plus y plus z equals to 12 such that x is greater than 1, y is greater than equals to 2 and z is greater than equals to Three. Next and the last category in distribution is identical to identical. For example, I want to distribute 
four identical bowls into three identical boxes so four identical bowls can be b b four times three identical boxes can be box box and box they are three identical box it means that they don't have a name when we have different boxes i have told you that this is box number 1 this is box number 2 this is box number 3 here all are just boxes exactly identical you don't know uh, by looking at them which box is which they are exactly identical boxes and i have to put these four identical bowls into these three boxes how many ways i can do this because bowls are identical i can say that it could be 0 0 and 4 one of the distribution is this it means that two boxes are empty one box have four bowls now very important it won't be 0 4 0 because this is the same thing what the first first case say that one box have four bowls and two boxes are empty now we don't know which one because boxes are not different boxes are identical so it means that one box is four other two are empty second also means same so this will be uh, recounted so 004 is same as this is one distribution one dis i'm just writing one distribution 004 is same as 400 when in this case when bowls and boxes are identical so one case is 004 then we can have 10 first i have taken the cases with 20 now 20 this is only case we can form 10 we need other to be 4 so it can be like 1322 2. it means that one bowl in one box three bowl in other box one box is empty 022 this is the third case that that can possible now first i have made the case with 20 then with 10 1 and Two. This is the fourth way of distribution. It means that one box will have one ball, so other box will also have one ball, and the last box will have two balls. And these are the only four ways we can distribute four identical balls into three identical boxes. Very important to understand is there. There is no formula for these kind of question. You have to manually write the distribution just by following a simple pattern. Otherwise, you will make mistakes so there is no formula for these kind of question in any of the booklets or any of the material so we have to solve these question based on the pattern first take the case of 20 then 10 and then no zero these are the four ways so answer is four ways we can distribute four identical balls into three identical boxes next question very important I have to divide six identical balls into three groups. Now, groups means I have to divide the six identical balls into three parts. So, how this is possible? Can I say that one one part is one? Other part can be now one ball I have taken here. Remaining are five. Five can be taken as one, four, two, three. two cases very important to understand there here is that zero case won't come here because if i say that 6 0 0 it means that here there is no boxes i have to divide six identical balls into three groups not three boxes three groups means i have to divide them into three parts what 6 0 0 means that i have put all the six ball at one place 1 2 3 4 5 6 i have put all the six balls at one place and this will not be distributed into three parts so this is a wrong case so zero won't come here 6 0 0 simply means that i have put all the six ball at one place but my question was i have to divide six identical balls into three parts or three groups so cases would be like this one ball i will take first one then remaining are five how can we form five five can be formed at 1 4 2 and 3 what this mean 1 2 and 3 it means that what this this is a valid case yes this is a valid case 1 2 3 because 
I have one bowl at one place, two bowls at other place, and three bowls at third place. So I have divided the six identical bowls into three groups of one, two, and three. Now, this is the way you have to form the pattern and solve the question. One, first take one, one, four, two, three. Now, all the cases with one have included. So I won't take one more again. Now we start with two. Now very important to understand here is that we won't include more one more than that. Now very important here to understand that one won't come again because we have case counted all the cases with one. Now here all the numbers will be two or more than two. So I have taken two. Now how much remaining? Two bowls I have put at one place. Remaining are four. Now four can be like this: two, three, two, two. Sorry, this is the way. It won't be one three because I need. I have put two bowls at one place, so remaining are four. Four four can be like two and two, one three because one and three will not because because this will, case will be repeated. This one and two one three and this two one three are same, so this won't repeated. So only three ways. This is case. This is way number one, two, and three. Three ways we can distribute six identical bowls into three groups. Next question is: I want to distribute fourteen identical bowls into three groups. Now, here very important to understand that these are three groups, not three boxes. Boxes can have zero bowls, but when I say groups, it means that you have to divide. 14 identical bowls into three parts so zero won't come so i will put one bowl at one place remaining are 13 now how 13 can be uh, divided into two parts that is 1 12 2 11 3 10 4 9 5 8 6 and 7 these are the ways when one is common one i have put at one place now remaining sum should be you are 13 so these are how many cases these are 1 2 3 4 5 6 cases this now i have taken all the cases with one now one will not come again so here numbers would be two or more than two that's the best way to distribute otherwise you will do some mistake and remember that there is no formula only you have to do manually by making a pattern so pattern is that first make all the cases with one then remove one i have counted all the cases with one now one will not come now my distribution will contain two or more than two so i have put two bowls at one place how many are left this is 12 now one will not come again all the numbers will be two or more than two so 12 can be 2 and 10 3 and 9 Four and eight, five, seven, six and six. How many cases I have? Five more ways of distributing. So six plus five total. Still I have eleven. Now why one will not come? Because if you will count like let's say uh, two, one and eleven. This is repeated because two, one and eleven already came. Look at this case. One, one and twelve. It means that one bowl. One bowl and twelve bowl. This is two, two, one and twelve. Same case. So this will not come. So that's why you have to make a pattern like this. First count all the cases with one, then count all the cases with two. Now I have count all the cases with one as well as two. Now I will count with three or more than three. So one and two will not come because I have counted all the cases that can be formed with one. And two bowls, so it would be three or more than three. So three I have put at one place. Remaining are how much? Eleven. Eleven could be three, eight, four, seven, five, and six. Only three cases. Now I have counted all the cases with three. Now three will not come. Four and more than four. So four. Remaining is eight. Remaining are eight. Eight can be divided as four and four only. So only. one case because three will not come two will not come and one will not come so how many ways i have 6 plus 5 11 plus 3 14 plus 1 15 ways the answer is 15 ways i can divide 
14 identical balls into three groups that is my answer now let me take a different example 14 identical balls into three boxes three identical boxes three identical boxes now the what will be different in this case and the previous case three groups and three identical boxes now boxes can have zero balls that is the difference so zero will zero cases will become extra these 15 will remain this 15 will remain this 15 cases will be there no need to count them again now extra cases in this will be zero zero one so i will put zero ball in one box so second ball box will have other two will have total of 14 how this is possible 0 14 1 13 2 12 3 11 4 10 5 9 6 8 and then last 7 7 so these 8 cases will be more so total of in this case my answer would be 15 plus 8 23 cases of distributing 14 identical balls into three identical boxes the only case only difference in three identical boxes and three groups is that in group case the zero will not come in boxes case zero can come other cases will remain same so that was all about this lesson thank you